Although both of these knots look the same, one's nice and secure, and the other one potentially lethal. So I came across this in an industrial rope access safety bulletin where a couple of the trainees had mistied the scaffold knot and I thought I'd just create a little bit of awareness on the issue. The scaffold knot or double fisherman's knot is often tied around the thumb and one of the ways of potentially mistying it is to tie a double overhand knot first and then come in through with the tag end. So if we tighten this up and then cinch it down on a carabiner, it looks exactly like the scaffold knot or double fisherman's knot, except for double overhand knot has been tied around the tag end instead of this standing part. So if you put some weight on it, that tag end has the potential just to slip right out. So if you're going to use the thumb wrap method to tie the scaffold knot, the correct way to do it is just to grab a bite of the rope and then with the free end wrap your thumb and the standing part of the rope twice back down towards the loop and then tuck this tag end up where your thumb is replacing your thumb and you can just tighten that up and the difference in this case is that double overhand knot is tied around this long section rather than this short section and you can put that loop into your carabiner and once it's set tight that's a nice secure way to tie into a carabiner. So I guess this highlights the importance of doing a body weight test on your knots whilst you're still on the ground.